Hi guys, Maggie Klein here from Klein Design. Just wanted to show you a really efficient way to select a bunch of objects of different colours and opacities. You might be working on something similar to this where there's just a lot of colours going on. Um, and say, you know, I might want to select all these pink dots. So we could select one, hold shift, select another and keep clicking until they're all selected and change them that way. But I'm going to just click on one and then if you go up to select same fill color, that will select all the pink dots. Now, one thing you'll notice is it selected both the trees. So if you wanted to maybe keep this one looking like this and change this one, um, you're gonna have to put them on separate layers and then lock the layer you're not working on. So a quick way to do it is just select new layer, highlight one of the trees, move this square up to that layer, and now they're on two different layers. So you can see if I turn that off and turn that off, they're on completely different layers. So if I just lock this one, then we can start working on this and we know it's not gonna affect our original. So I'm gonna select all the pink ones just by going select same fill color. And I can do what I want with it, but I'm just gonna change it to, I don't know, maybe like a yellow or something. Um, and straight away you can see the difference. You can change it if you want to or leave it. It's up to you, but how quick was that? I didn't have to go through and select every single dot. The other great thing about this option is it works for opacities as well. So over here, I've got a blue tree. Now, each of these circles are the same color. I'm just gonna unlock that layer. They're all the same color. So if I clicked on this one and said select same fill color, it's gonna select all of the dots uh, because they are actually, they're just, they're the same blue. They're just different opacities. So this one's at 30%, this one's at 70 and so on, 100% here. So maybe I didn't like, maybe I don't like the look of this one. Maybe it could be too transparent and I want to make it a little bit more opaque. So I can select that one and then go to select same opacity and it's going to select all the circles that have a 10% opacity like that one. And then I can change that if I want to. I can make it 35%. And then that just brings it up a little bit. You can do whatever you want with it though, but it's just really helpful to know those tools are there and you can select multiple objects um, in one click of the button. Nice and easy. Thanks for watching guys and good luck.